Hello and welcome to this episode of Transparent ULIPS, a customer education initiative launched jointly by Bajaj Alliance Life Insurance and the Money Mile. With me today is Sampath Reddy, the Chief Investment Officer at Bajaj Alliance Life Insurance. Thanks very much, Sampath. Always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Vivek. What are the other charges and how is this mortality charge reimbursed? You know, for a customer to avail uh, tax benefits, you know, in the ULIPS, he must have a 10 times insurance cover. If a person is willing to pay, if a person is annually paying, you know, 1 lakh rupees of premium in the ULIP, you know, he must have an insurance cover of 10 times, which is, you know, for the 10 lakhs. You know, the cost of this insurance typically varies anywhere between 0.5 to, you know, 2%, depending on the age of the person. You know, these charges, the 0.5 to 1% or 2%, you know, depending on the age of the person, these charges we debit at the, you know, we have to debit because if the customer has to, you know, get the, uh, get the tax benefit unless if you don't opt for this 10 times cover, he will not get the tax benefit. We are giving this back to the customer in the, the, uh, mm -hmm. the mortality charges that we debit. Hmm. What about the portfolio disclosures? Do you see those getting strengthened? Because one of the criticisms of ULIP was that unlike, say, a mutual fund, the entire portfolio is not disclosed. Uh, are you on par there as far as transparency is concerned? Yeah, I think the ULIPs, you know, when it comes to the portfolio management and portfolio management techniques and strategies and the disclosure practices, I don't think there is any difference between the, you know, the two types of, you know, the you know, funds one could choose, whether it's ULIP or in a mutual fund space. Uh, in fact, even if you look at the performances of the mutual fund versus, you know, the insurance uh, uh, funds, you know, ULIP funds in the larger cap or a mid cap segment, if you, in comparison with the, uh, the mutual funds also, so the performance is pretty much similar across the you know categories. I would say, I mean, depending on which fund does you know what periods better, and that's always the difference. But uh, you know whether it is actual fund performance and whether it is to do with the with the disclosure practices, I think you know they're all pretty much a similar platform. Is the fund statement easy to read according to you? Yeah, yeah, very much, very simple, very simple. We do disclose the entire, you know, the sector exposure, you know, cash levels and the, you know, returns from a one year, three year, you know, longer term perspective with the vis a vis a benchmark, you know, pretty much similar to that of uh, any other, you know, uh, fund returns that are available. One of the modes of investing, Sampath, which has been very popular of late is the systematic investment plan. Yeah. Uh, do you as an insurance company also offer an SIP route for people? Yeah, in fact, you know, the uh, SIP is actually, uh, you know, ULIPs and insurance products have always been a, you know, a, a, a SIP investments in any case from the beginning because if a customer is paying, you know, regular premium, whether he's paying on a quarterly, annually or a, uh, yearly modes, which you know, which has been the case all throughout these years. You know, that's how the you know insurance premiums have been collected. So it has always been a, a SIP mode. In fact, you know, there was also single premium products available in the insurance space in the ULIPS. But you know, the proportion of the business from the single premium, which is lump sum sales, which we call, you know, is very very small. Uh, for the several years, ULIPS or uh, you know within the insurance, you know, regular premium products, which means pre customers pay, keep paying premiums either in an annual mode or a quarterly mode or a monthly mode. That bill, that business is really the bulk of the business for the insurance companies. How have your funds performed since you are the money manager and yeah. your team, you yeah. know, handles all the investments? Right. Yeah. Uh, have the, you know, now that we have a fairly long time period, right. you know, that we can look at. Right, right. Um, and ULIPs are meant for long term investment. Right, right, right. Uh, what, what are the kind of returns that you've been able to uh, deliver and how have they compared according to you with right, benchmarks? Right. So, in fact, uh, you know, we had uh, exceptionally good returns for, the, for our policyholders for the last five to ten year period, in fact, longer period. Um, almost all of our funds in the large cap and mid cap category have beating the benchmark. Vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, in, in the in the Morningstar ratings, also if one were to look at uh, most uh, most periods of the time, our funds have been ranked either at a five star or a four star in the equity in the equity platform. So I think our funds have done exceptionally well uh, in the last five to ten year period as well. And do you uh, the next ten years? Do you see the ability to deliver? Uh, decent returns. I know you can't yeah. quantify and give yeah. a number as per yeah. the policy. You're yeah. supposed to give uh, right. eight percent as right. per the yeah. regulator. Yeah. Yeah. But more at a more larger level, do you see this market 
uh, being able to deliver good returns in the next five to ten years? Yes, India has been in a very attractive market globally. You know, India has been one of the best growth markets in in the in, in terms of its GDP and economic growth, and in our equity, our capital markets are very well developed. You know, in spite of so much of headwinds in the last ten years, you know, in market as such, or even our most equity funds have generated about fifteen percent per annum returns in the last ten years. I don't see any reason why. The next five to ten year will be any different. I think you know in in Indian equity markets, you know, twelve to fifteen percent per annum is you know uh, is good returns to expect for the customers. Thank you very much, Sampath, for Thank talking you, to us. Thank you. Thank you.